Right, well, week nine of the National Hunt. Welcome to day one. We've got 12 races for you. And we're going to start over at Cheltenham, where we've got six races. Where we've got the F Finnish Juvenile Group 2 Hurdle, which will be the first race of the day. And that's going to be followed by the Murphy Group Handicap Chase over 2 mile 5. That's a Group 3 handicap chase quite a big field there top weight will be falling through clouds which probably won't help him as uh, the trainer has highlighted got molto stupido looking to get some uh, form back for molly at surfer last week's winner half time tea time for Stu gray and towards the bottom of the weights whip hand for martin leadham previous two wins his last two runs and then you got attorney general for paul rhodes sing on a nice uh, mark of 128 for a chase it's a 160 hurdler, uh, won its last two races, so good luck with that one. That will be followed by the Cotswold Group 2 chase, over three miles or 1.5 furlongs. Um, smallish field there, some good horses in there, run skips for John Morgan, win the last time out. Must look to go well acquitted for Paul Rhodes, uh, tends to like to be second or third. We'll look to go one better and get in the winner's enclosure. Maximum Pat for Joshua Sutherland, it's uh, his gold cup horse, I think. It's his trial run. He thinks he's got an each way shout today, so good luck with that. And that will then move us on to race four on your cards, which will be the classic novice hurdle, which is also a G2, where Meandre goes up against Deer Hunter and Moonshell Knight for Graham Clatterbuck on good horses. John Morgan's Hatton's Grace is in there for its third run, come third in its last two. So he'll be willing to step up to get into uh, maybe the winner's enclosure there as well. Then race five, that's a cleave hurdle. It's a group two. It's over three miles. Again, a nice big field there. Eight of mystery for Joshua Sutherland. Prime suspect for Paul Rhodes. Baddy Sierra for Molly at Surfer. And even David Robertson's 152 rated Galadriel's Elk must stand a chance there. That will then move us on to the last race at Cheltenham which is race six, which is the Stella Handicap Hurdle. It's over two mile, one furlong. Fairly big field there. Anything could probably win. Strap me up from Derek Hinton uh, one last time out, so I'll be looking to follow up. And I'll be calling them home at Cheltenham. You'll have Doncaster with Martin, where he's going to start at Doncaster, which is race seven, the Mayor's Hurdle, which is a group two. Just six of them go to post there. And you'd have to say the two 170 plus rated horses of Orange Eyes of Molly at Surfer and the big show of Joshua Sutherland should probably fight that out together. Then he's got the Lighting Novice Chase, oh, another G2, just over the two miles and a half a furlong. Small field again, just uh, I think nine go to post there. Got North Wind of Paul Rhodes, Fired Earth of Darren Thompson, and the perfect match for Joshua Sutherland look like the top horses in that race. Then race nine is a three mile Doncaster Chase. It's a sky bet, a nice big field there. Top rated in the chasing, it's obviously a 0 to 140, I think. Top of the pile is going to be eight's defences to Joshua Sutherland. He's also going to have the second weight, which is a consequence of stars, but they're both 160 rated hurdlers, so uh, they'll have a shout, I'm sure. Jamaican ride for Stu Gray, looking for its fifth pull up in a row, so good luck there. And I think that's probably about it in that field. Then race 10 for your day will be the River Don Novices Hurdle, another G2. Seven go to post there. Little Rockefeller for John Morgan looking to follow up from his win previously. And Villa de la Plata for Paul Rhodes. Pretty scratchy form. Fallen, pulled up, came first and then pulled up again. He's rated at 150, which is a bit of bad luck, obviously, on that win. And then eight's the conclusion for Joshua Sutherland. One that likes the money, but doesn't really like to get uh, his neck in front and the winner's enclosure. Then race 11, which will be the last one from Doncaster, which is the MPC handicap chase over two miles. Uh, smallish field there, but anything could win that one. You've got Jubiel of James Follis which was a previous winner Tanner for Paul Rhodes looking to get in the winner's enclosure Kingdom of Animals for Joshua rated 138 so it'll be close to top weight I think previous winner and Cumber Valara for Darren Thompson will be right at the top previous winner also so good luck if you got one that in that and then we finish the day off at uh, Sandown where I'll be back in the commentary box for the Imperial Cup handicap hurdle it's over two miles a reasonable field there of about 13 you can have a couple in there Molly at Surf has got Samoa Sunrise and Samoa Sabbath Joshua is going to take the top weight round with Kingdom of Colts in the all gate for Carl Arrogante, Twix for Alex Cherry, Lau Cookie for Darren House. So uh, that could be well open, that one, because there's going to be plenty getting weight off the top. So I hope you enjoy the day. Try and guess what the background music it is this week. And the only clue I'm going to give you is Sunday. Okay, we'll join us tomorrow. Goodbye.